New restrictions target the spread of coronavirus in retail stores as infection rates in North Carolina continue to rise. From WREL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, April 13th, 2020. I'm Cliff Bumgardner. Here's the latest from WREL.com. New restrictions for grocery and retail stores go into effect today at 5 p.m. The new rules are mandated under an executive order issued last week by Governor Roy Cooper and look to enforce greater social distancing in public spaces. Under the order, retailers will have to take the following steps. 1. Limit the number of customers inside a business at any time to 20% of allowed capacity under fire regulations, or 5 people per 1,000 square feet. 2. Maintain 6-foot separation between customers at checkout lines and other areas where customers congregate. And lastly, 3. Stores must be routinely disinfected. The order also encourages, but does not require retailers, to limit aisles to one-way traffic, install plastic shields to separate cashiers from customers, set aside specific hours for senior citizens to shop, and make hand sanitizer available for customers and staff. Speaking at a press conference today, Governor Cooper said restrictions like these are flattening the curve of the virus. We continue to see the spread of the virus accelerate through North Carolina, but at a much slower pace because people are following the executive orders on social distancing. What we are doing is working. We're saving lives. Our biggest enemy is complacency. The better we can be at staying home through April, the more likely we are able to ease restrictions. Cooper said the North Carolina Retail Merchants Association backs the new guidelines to keep people apart inside stores, so he doesn't expect many violations by individual retailers. But law enforcement can issue citations for Class 2 misdemeanors for any violations. Many stores, including Aldi, Target, Costco, Harris Teeter, and Trader Joe's, have already implemented many of these procedures ahead of the order going into effect. Throughout the pandemic, shoppers are encouraged to limit their visits to non-peak hours whenever possible and to avoid overbuying on essential items. At the time of recording, more than 4,800 people in North Carolina have tested positive for COVID-19, and at least 95 have died. There are at least 353 confirmed recoveries of the virus, though that number may be higher as not all counties are reporting. Over the weekend, the IRS sent out the first wave of stimulus checks to help Americans struggling during the pandemic. The distributions are part of the $2.2 trillion economic relief package passed by Congress in March. Deposits will continue in the days ahead, starting with people who have filed tax returns for 2018 or 2019 and authorized direct deposit. Others, including people who haven't yet filed returns, authorized direct deposits, or received Social Security, will probably have to wait weeks or months before seeing their money. As for how much you can expect to receive under the stimulus, many Americans are expected to get a one-time payment of $1,200, and families would see an extra $500 per child they claim as a dependent on their tax returns. But eligibility varies. To find out how much you're likely to get, use the calculator, available on WREL.com. Today, Wake County Public School students returned to classrooms, albeit virtual ones, for the first time in weeks. Students have been home since March 16th, when the governor ordered all public schools to close to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Since then, districts, teachers, and parents have been scrambling to set up online learning services. For those who don't have access to the internet at home, the district has ordered more than 10,000 Wi-Fi hotspot devices, which are expected to be delivered to homes this week. Last week, the State Board of Education approved a pass-fail system for high school seniors so they can meet minimum graduation requirements. Schools could reopen after May 15th, but should that happen, traditional letter grading could be used for the spring semester. School officials encourage students to continue to study hard at home during the online learning period in case traditional grades are still used. Meanwhile, UNCTV and the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction have also expanded educational programming for all students. Other organizations like museums, zoos, music and dance schools, and even NASA are producing interactive online lessons and activities to aid students during this time. From WREL TechWire, 
Amazon says it will hire another 75,000 people, including 77 positions in North Carolina, to help meet growing demand due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The new hires come after Amazon said it had already filled 100,000 additional positions since the outbreak of the virus. In a statement, the company said North Carolina employees could earn up to $18 an hour. That's with a $2 an hour pay increase through April to deal with a heightened demand. However, Amazon has faced criticism from some workers for what they say are a lack of adequate safety measures at various facilities. In a statement, the company said, quote, We'll continue to invest in safety, pay, and benefits for our teams who are playing an invaluable role in getting items to communities around the world. End quote. The new jobs may be indispensable in an economy crippled by the ongoing pandemic. In North Carolina alone, over 516,000 people have filed for unemployment since March 16th. This has been your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, April 13th, 2020. As always, if you like the information and resources you get from this show, let us know by leaving a rating and a review on whatever podcast app you use. Plus, while you're there, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our new episodes, posted daily by 5 p.m. Thanks for listening.